Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got the finale for my Finish 7 by Spring. Um, now you might be wondering, Linda, I don't even remember anymore that you were doing a Finish 7 by Spring. Yeah, that is because at the start of the year I had so much updates and finales and everything to film that I never really got to filming an update for you guys. But I have still been working on these products so I thought why not at least show you guys the finale of something that I did do an intro for in December. Um, yeah, <laughs> let's take a look at them. So first of all, one of the products that I was working on, which I'm sure you guys don't remember anymore, uh, is the Bourgeois Healthy Mix powder. Um, I believe my goal was to try and hit pad on this one, which um, wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. So as you can see, I've hit a really good bit of pad on this one already. Um, you might be able to see, but probably a bit better in the close-up even, that I have hit a lot of side pan. It's getting really thin at the bottom right here, so I have a feeling that within the next few months this one will be done. It's the only powder that I have, so um, I'm gonna have to look for either a different powder, so tell me what type of powders do you guys like that still kind of leave a bit of a glowy natural look. I don't want it to be too cakey, but I might just repurchase this one as well. So yeah, moving on to the next one is the blush from e.l.f. Enjoy that, well, I have been working on. You can see a bit better in a close-up, but I ended up mm, still a little bit above the halfway point, but there is movement happening. Um, it didn't really help that I ended up rolling a blush in the roulette pan collab that kind of took over some of the focus that I could have put on this one. But this one is now also in my whole collection, Project 10 pan. I rolled that in about a week ago and I was like, because I'm filming the finale right now, I might just as well uh, be okay with a little bit of double dipping because it was only for a week. But yeah. Mm. <laughs> We're not uh, very far yet, but I have made some progress at the start of the year, as you can see in the close-up, so that is good. Then another thing that I was working on is the I Love Coconut and Cream Lip Balm. It is an extremely big lip balm, as you can see, and um, there's 15 mils in here. I don't know what that is in fluid ounces, but um, what I've been doing is I have this on my bedside table and I use this in the evenings. I notice that with these type of things it's really hard to not get everything underneath my nails when I'm trying to use it. So what I actually started doing, and you might see that in the close-up as well, <laughs> I started like scooping a little bit out with my nails, so going the other direction and then spreading that across my lips as opposed to trying to just get in on the tip of my finger and then still digging my nail in. So yeah, that's how I've been making progress on it. There is a nice dip in here, but God, that this is gonna take me forever. I have a feeling that might still be here in December as well, but let's see. Anyway, more lip products. This is the lip gloss that I've been focusing on mainly for the next, for the next, for the last three months. And this is the Tease lip gloss in I oh in Gutsy. And yeah, I finished I think about half of the products. Um, you can see better in the close up, but I am. Like, I'm not halfway when you look at it physically, but because it's narrowing down at the bottom, I have a feeling it must be some sort of halfway. I've been using this a lot, but it's just so big, there's so much in here, so it's uh, it's not done yet. But I've made some nice progress, and hopefully within the next few months this one will end up being done. Then one that I kind of feel like I should have been able to finish off. Is the Revlon Just Been a Kissable Love Balm Stain, something like that, um, in Charm. I can't read it anymore because there is no text on it anymore. And for this one, this is all I have left. So I'm so close, but I just didn't make it. And that is because I had a few weeks throughout this for a quarter that I did not really wear makeup. Um, if I would have done a little bit better, I know I could have finished this one. So that's a bit of a shame because as you can see, I did not finish off any of these products yet. But uh, yeah, that's how I've been doing on this one and hopefully this one will be done in the next two weeks or so. I'm really trying to be better, so hoping I can do that. Then I had the Too Faced Shadow Insurance and I kind of already knew that this was a stretch because the last little bit always seems to last forever <laughs> on this one. And again, that has been the case. I moved up nicely and now it's 
it always kind of gets stuck at this point it seems like which for now is fine because i don't know when i can repurchase this one in an easy way again um and this is the only eyeshadow base that i have but yeah let's see how we're gonna do on that one it's not done yet and then the last product that i also didn't finish is the milk pencil from nyx the jumbo eye pencil and as you can see this is getting really tiny up until here how do i probably like this bottom part right here is all the plastic and the last time i tried to sharpen this this started turning on me like it does for everybody so i have a feeling i might be able to sharpen this one maybe two more times and it will be done so also this one is really close um there is still a little bit of tip left for now though so this one also i'm pretty sure i will finish in the next few weeks or so but it's not done yet so a project that i never updated you guys on and that i didn't finish any products on not the most exciting but i still wanted to show you guys how i've been doing and I, i've still made some progress and that might not have been the case on these products if i did not have them in this project so even though i didn't update you guys i was still aware of the fact that this project was going on so yeah that is it for today thank you guys very much for watching and i hope to see you in one of my next videos Bye bye